Yee, it's your boy Girl Fear back with another video. And today, I got a special video for you guys, man. Today, we are back with the Banner Talk series, man. And we're going to be breaking down this new step up banner. You know, they always do one every single month. But it looks like, like, just the trend that they've been doing ever since. Ever since September when they dropped Mods of Vegeta, we have gotten that step up banner every single month. So, looks like we're getting another one for the Dragon Fist LF Super Saiyan for Goku. So, I'm going to break it down and see so you guys summon on this or not. And without further ado, let's dive on in. So, before we start, it's going to start tomorrow and it ends on May 24th. So, basically, May 24th, that following week will be the Annie. It will be the Annie. The, the second anniversary will drop I think that beginning of June. So that means this is going to be pretty much the ante for this month and next month. Which is going to be pretty interesting. So it's going to be up for a long time. And you guys will have, you know, you guys have a lot of time to, to like, you know, figure out what you do. You guys want to summon or not and everything. So I'm just going to just give you guys my my uh, two cents on the banner and everything. And yeah, let's dive on in. So as you can see here um it looks like the generic one right like they ain't changed the rotation or anything at all so let's just check the possible characters so they have Majin vegeta they have super saiyan 3 goku which he's really good he's a really good zenkai at zenkai 7 uh namku is super good at zenkai 7 gohan is the best unit in the game they dropped the lf super saiyan 4 goku okay so he's at 0.5 and they dropped the new ex now what's different about this banner is that they did not drop a regular sparking like how the other ones have like when ever since they changed this format this new like step up banner format they always have an lf and they always have a regular sparking but this one they dropped the ex a new ex instead of a new sparking that's pretty interesting that's pretty interesting so we can look at the other units over here it looked like goku black has the highest rate out of every single unit nah like nah it's just he just has the regular ex rate while these are like the other units i guess so this banner is really interesting and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i honestly don't like this banner at all like i really don't like this banner because basically if you do not pull super saiyan 4 goku and you pull anything else it's pretty much a shaft like people gonna be like well goku black is super good cell is super good but yeah you're right but how many times have they been on a banner they've been on every single banner ever since they dropped so it's like everybody has them at high stars you know like not a lot of people are gonna have them like at low stars he, they've been on every single step up banner because they're like top they're really good they're really good units and i feel like you know frieza's good you know metal cool is straight this Vegeta Z build is good. Goku Black, like I said, is good. Purple Form Cell is good. You know, the Universe 11 boys are here, but he, you know, that they're on the rival universe banner with with hit and revival Goku. Like, this banner just not good. Like, I, I'm like, I'm just not, I'm not shocked. I'm not surprised. I don't really like this banner at all. Honestly, even if you're a G, like, it's hard for, for people that is a GT main, like, so they summon or not, because you know, like this is this guy's gonna be like the main. This guy's gonna be a, a main asset for that team, right? For the GT team, like he's gonna be really good. He's gonna be pretty much essential for your GT team if you main this guy. So it's like for people that mains GT is like if you don't if you don't pull this Goku, then basically basically uh, this is a shaft banner. So it's like if you're a GT main, if that's your main team, I will say summon on this. I will say summon, but i would say summon until you until you get until you get this goku honestly um and maybe in the anniversary they might drop um super saiyan 4 gogeta so it's like i really don't know should you guys go that crazy on this banner because he's pretty much the only unit and he's a 0.5 percent chance no other regular sparking as like a secondary probably like a constellation prize he's just the only unit he's the only new sparking unit that we just got and uh, I don't think I don't think this banner is all that. Like, if you're not a GT main, don't summon on this banner at all. Like, I know we're gonna see gameplay, and judging from his kit, from his kit, he looks really good. He's kind of like that GT last stand, last stand unit, right? Um, basically, when um, his allies die, he heals, he gets ult damage, 
inflicted da more damage, inflicted buffs. He, he's going to do a lot of damage as a last stand unit. But if you don't main GT, don't summon on his banner. Like, honestly, I'm only going to go 500 CC, and that's it. Because, like, what are the odds of me pulling a 0.5% chance for this Goku? Like, honestly. So if you're a G I think if you if you main GT, you should summon on his banner. If you don't main GT, like, if that's not your number one team, don't summon on his banner, in my opinion. Um... The other Zenkai units are good. Um, LF banners are LF units are good. Like Zenkai Gohan, Zenkai Namku, Zenkai Super Saiyan Three. But you know, like they're gonna be on other banners as well. So um, honestly, if you're not a GT main, don't summon on this banner, in my opinion. Um, they didn't even drop a regular sparking. That's pretty interesting that they did not do that. That's kind of like that's kind of like that makes no sense at all, at all. Like um, so, if you don't main GT, don't summon on this banner. Um, maybe go 500 CC, just try and test your luck to see if you pull this Goku and then stop right there and then save your CC for Annie because Annie is going to be so much more valuable than this banner. Like this banner is not good. Um, only if you're a GT main, because you're going to need this guy for, you know, you're going to need this guy. You're going to need this guy because he's going to be one of the best units on that GT team when they revive that tag. So if you don't main GT, don't summon on this banner, do 500 CC. And stop there and save your CC for anniversary because you're gonna get a lot more value off the third any step up banner than this banner. Um, this banner is uh, I think this banner is one of the worst step ups we, we have. We had like I think ever in my opinion. I think this is definitely one of the worst ones because it's basically a new step up, a new LF banner, a LF unit. You don't pull that LF unit and it's, you're pretty much done. It's pretty much it's pretty much a shaft. So if you don't pull him, you shaft it like no constellation prize unless you. Get the uh, new EX Goku Black, but I don't think people want are summoning for a new EX Goku Black. So, yeah, DT mains summon. Try to see. Hopefully, you guys can get them like real. You know, we're not with not not many uh sparkings. But if you're not a GT main, don't summon on this banner. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. Like, comment, subscribe. It's been, it's been your boy Gruff, man, and I'm out.